Hi, hello, I'm the Cyber Rift Guru. Thank you for watching. So a while ago, I don't even remember how long ago it was, probably about a month or two ago, I made a video about a jig that I had made to create a juice groove in a cutting board. And basically it was an epic failure. Turns out my fault, not the jig's fault. That's okay, I was able to create some more cutting boards, try it out again, and it worked perfectly this time. So word to the wise, you route left to right when the router is down and right to left when it is in the router table. I know that now the router didn't get away from me. The juice grooves turned out perfectly. That's all good. This video, however, is about a, another jig I created uh, to put the uh, handles on the side of the cutting board so you could lift it up. Now these cutting boards are you know about two and a half, uh, two and a quarter, two and a half inches tall, so they're very tall, very wide up, you know, 13, uh, 12, 13 inches wide, so they're very, very heavy. They're probably about, um, I don't know, maybe 10 pounds, five pounds, something like this, I don't know. Pretty heavy, so the handles help to pick it up. What I did is I created a, uh, I'll call it a jig, but I put two boards on the side of the router table uh, to create some space where I could push the, the cutting board in and slide it over and then pull it back out to create the, um, the handles. And I did, it, did this by uh, cutting at full depth, but only at a very thin uh, distance uh, into the cutting board. So about a, a eighth of an inch in each pass. I think it was an eighth, might've been a quarter. It goes an eighth, eighth an inch deep, and then I would push it in, cut it, and pull it back, and then slide the router fence back and do the operation over and over again. So just a quick video showing you how I did this. Um, so let's go ahead and cut over to the video montage. Okay, so this picture here you see on the screen is very straightforward. You have the router table, uh, the cutting board's off to the side there, but you have two two by fours held to the router fence on either side of the bit, which is in the center. Now to make a handle in this cutting board, I did a full uh, depth cut of the one inch router bit that I have, and I separated the boards by the distance, which is the width of the cutting board, plus the width of the handle you wanna make. In this particular case, the cutting board is about 11 inches. And, and because of that, I wanted to make a three inch handle to stick your hands in. So 11 plus uh, three is 14. So the distance between the two two by fours is going to be 14 inches. So you take 14, you divide it by half, that gives you seven. So the distance from one side to the center of the router bit is seven inches, and then the distance from the center of the router bit to the other side is seven inches. So it's very easy to put these boards on. You measure the total distance, in this case, which is 14 inches, um, and then you measure the distance from one side to the center of the bit, and it should be seven. And you have to futz with it a little bit. Uh, what I really did is I put one board down, I measured seven inches with the other board, down, measured seven inches, and then I made sure the distance between the two of them was 14 or pretty close to 14. And that's how you use, uh, create this jig to create the cutting, the handles on the cutting board. Okay, so now we're gonna switch over the video and I'm gonna show you how to cut the groove for the handle. Turn the router on, and now I'm doing here a plunge cut on the right-hand side of the cutting board to stop tear out whenever we move the cutting board across the router bit. So now I am plunging in on the left side of the cutting board and we are gonna move the, the cutting board from the right side to the left side. So push a little pressure on it, push it nice and slow across the cutting bit and then it's gonna finish on the right hand side of the cutting board here which has already been uh, cut essentially to this full depth. So now I am adjusting the router table by pushing the fence back an eighth of an inch, um, just loosening the bolts and then tightening them up again. You can see there I, I moved the left hand side there, but I just had to adjust that, no big deal. And then I will grab the cutting board, uh, turn, turn the router table on uh, right here, 
grab the cutting board and then I will plunge in again on the right hand side of the cutting board which is the left hand side of the jig uh, to again minimize that tear out and then I will plunge in on the left hand side of the cutting board right hand side of the jig and then move from the right side of the jig to the left side of the jig which is again against the, the movement of the router to create the full depth cut at the second distance um, from the table. Flip the cutting board over and I'm doing the other side. Uh, you want to you you want to cut each side of the cutting board at a certain depth of the fence. You don't have to try and reproduce your results on each side differently. So what you do is you just cut one side and then you flip it over, cut the other side, and then move the fence. Um, and you just repeat that process until you get the full uh, depth of the cut that you're looking for. So, hey, I hope you liked those videos. I know it was real quick. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you like the video, thumbs up as always. If you don't like the video, appreciate a thumbs up anyway. Don't forget to be inspired. Thanks everyone.